Welcome to another episode. I'm Chewy. And I'm Tiny. And together we're TNC at the movies. And we got another excellent, excellent episode for you. Another well, installment gonna, for you boys and girls. We're going to review Suicide Squad 2021, the James Gunn version. That's right. Uh, the best version, by the way. And uh, before we get started, lie. make sure you hit the like uh, button on this. Um, Smash that subscribe if you haven't already. Comments, subscribe, the whole bit. The whole thing. And uh, do us a favor. Go ahead and just like now. Mm -hmm. Watch the video and then decide if you want to unlike. But make sure after you comment regardless. Let us know what you're digging. Let us know what you're not digging. Let us know what you guys want us to review late, uh, later, next time. Uh, whatever. A little suggestion box. Think of it as your suggestion box. Yeah. Definitely. Um, also, additionally, we do require caffeination. Uh, we need to be caffeinated. Caffeinate us. Caffeinate us. Please. Over at uh, buymeacoffee.com forward slash TNC where you can, uh, you can help out the channel. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go ahead and uh, throw a quick shout out to uh, last week's um, donator uh, at Buy Us a Coffee. And that's uh, The Loomis. Good well, stuff. We are, Good stuff we are, on your part, Gal. We are super thankful to all It all adds buy up. Us a cup of coffee. It adds up. I'm just going to give it away. I, I really liked it. So, I'm sorry. You're going to go into this review knowing that I already liked it. Hmm. And there's going to be a lot of bias. And uh, for sure, it's going to be guilt-free. <laughs> it's going to be free, but you're going to get it raw. So, don't worry. Uh, this movie, uh, Suicide Squad 2021, was uh, directed and written by James Gunn. That's mm -hmm. right. Like I said, hey, um, I guess everyone's just going to know that I'm going to start swinging already. Uh, it was excellently uh, directed uh, by James Gunn. Uh, it starts Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. Um, God, amazing job. Uh, Idris Elba uh, as Bloodsport. Man, is that guy, is that guy even capable of a bad role? I don't think so. Like, I don't think I've ever seen him. He was even charming with a with a face full of makeup in uh, Star Trek Three. So yeah, I mean, like, there's it is just it is amazing how even when I'm not gonna mention any specific roles, but even when they sound like they're not gonna be great, then you see him and I'm like, oh my god, this amazing, amazing work. Uh, John Cena. As Peacemaker, but I don't even know if John Cena is, is he even up and coming anymore? Or is he already, is he arrived yet? Or is he like, I don't know. I think he got a bus pass for sure. Like he's, I'd, I'd like to think John Cena has already arrived. Don't forget, uh, Doctor Who uh, mm -hmm. played Thinker. And Sylvester Stallone lended his voice as King Shark. King Shark was the stuff, man. You guys don't even get it twisted. There are also many, many, many other characters. We'll be spoiling some visually. You'll see some randomly throughout. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to be great. Don't worry about it. It was amazing. So basically the movie is the Suicide Squad is sent out to Corto Maltese in order to uh, search and destroy uh, evidence of the Starro uh, project. And uh, in order for that to happen, two sets of teams are sent um and yeah it's basically the plot there's a lot of violence there's a lot of uh gore so much gore but it's well deserved it's well uh it's th thoughtful gore let's say that it's thoughtful gore yeah mm -hmm. you know it's the um it's like the way uh that uh, someone described when they when they do something risque mm -hmm. but you know they they do it in such a way that it just it just it just works it was tasteful that's the word it was it was tasteful and and i'm glad you i'm glad you said it that way because that's that's very that's the way sort of i describe this movie is like this everything was frivolous <laughs> everything yeah i'm talking about you know this movie was cranked up to 11 for sure the violence yeah uh, the violence for sure was uh was frivolous but again mm -hmm. it was tasteful yeah um i thought it was yeah it was it was done in such a way that none of it 
most of it mm -hmm. should not, you know, it wouldn't turn off anybody, mm -hmm. um, is what I'm saying. While it may be like, oh, wow, uh, maybe a little eye-opening, I still consider that none of them were overly abrasive, I guess. I don't know, like, you just... It, it was just, it had a very, very good balance mm -hmm. of it not being too much while, again, it being frivolous, it just, it just kept on coming. Yeah. It was like, uh, remember Super? Yes. Okay. It was like his, his, like, when he, it was like his movie Super, just, just kept adding violence. Just, just heavy handed on the violence is what I'm getting at. Yeah. All in good taste. Like Chew was saying. All in good taste. And, um, along with that, you know, uh, you know, handcuffed to the violence, it's also, there was a frivolous amount of kills. Everyone was expendable. That's for ab sure. Ab absolutely. It was, but it was done, like, again, it was done, like, very, in, in such a way where, you know, not that, not that I wasn't upset when they kept killing, you know, a character that I liked, mm -hmm. but it's... When the entire movie is that, and it's done, it's done, it's done correctly. I think that even even those who you know die, they still get like not fifteen minutes, but they get the fifteen nanoseconds of fame. Oh, for sure. You know, like they yeah, definitely yeah. get highlighted, mm -hmm. and then you know their their death comes. And that's it. And and there was a quite a variety. I I will say there was all kinds of ways. When I thought, well, everyone's got guns, so everyone's gonna get shot. Obviously, mm -hmm. but that was not necessarily the case. I thought the, there was a lot of kills that they were all very methodical in in, in the writing. Mm -hmm. I think it was like any good um, a variety death scene. Like uh, let's take Hellraiser 3's um, club scene. You know, the, the the doors get chained up. People start getting sliced. People start getting stabbed. People start getting wrapped up in barb you know it's just the variety and james gunn followed that it's, it's good stuff actually um the action the action was the action was non-stop i mean like i said it was cohesive something was always happening and it wasn't yeah it wasn't there was no there was never any point in this movie where i thought man uh this is really monotonous no and every time they changed it up, it was like, I like it, mm -hmm. I like it, mm -hmm. I like it, I like it, <laughs> I like it. Amazing. Amazing. Like, this is, like, I, I like it. Hey, Sylvester Stallone is hilarious. I, I like it. So, what, uh, what can we say about the comedy that was intertwined in this? Because there was... It like I said, this movie did it did it did a little bit of everything, mm -hmm. uh, including comedy, and there was a little drama in, involved. But we'll talk about that later. Mm -hmm. uh, but the comedy was it was hilarious. It was on point. You know, there was the inside jokes, even even just uh, lines. Absolutely, uh, just you think they just throw away lines, but nah, there, there's meaning behind them. I'm sure New Rock Stars has like. 12 different videos lined up for what I'm talking about, so. No, yeah. I'm not telling you to go watch their videos first. Just, just stick around. Stick around, but, you know, I'm sure there's there's many that I didn't even realize were there, but there's... You know what that, you know what that tells me? Like, a lot of... Okay. I, I, I think that Easter eggs are actually, like, they're a tool of rewatchability. Mm -hmm. Like, the way they have, like, you know, DLC for video games where you want to play it again. Mm -hmm. Well... Sometimes I watch a lot of movies just because you wanna, you wanna see like, oh, I wanna see that one little thing. Oh, um, sure, dude. I bought a lot of DVDs that way. A lot. I thought some of the violence was uh, very horror in aspect, and I think that's because James Gunn was James Gunn was already established has already established himself as a horror director, as a uh, as a uh, comedy. Dare I say genius? He has comedy right. stylings, and, and, and I think he's does, he does a pretty good job. I'll tell you what. Uh, James Gunn has always been a director that I've known of. I don't think I've praised him 
too hard ever in my life. I mean, I enjoy the Guardians of the Galaxy films. I enjoy Slither. Uh, I think Super was like the most I've ever rode D hard for him. Um, but I think if I'm going to be yeah. riding, you know, riding, uh, was it Dick riding Obama right now? I think yeah. it have to be for James Gunn's The Suicide Squad. Oh. Oh, definitely. And I wanted to hate this movie. I'm just going to say it now before we get really started. I wanted to hate this movie. I ignored all kinds of marketing for it. I'm talking like I didn't even want to see toys. Um, I'll tell you what, though. After watching this movie yeah. twice, I want every single action figure. Oh, yeah. Every single Todd McFarlane action figure. Just, you want the money, dude? I'll figure a way, but just hand them over. So, Chewy. I think we've praised this movie well enough. Um, do you have favorite characters? Well, yes. I definitely have uh, favorite character 1A, 1B. Nice. I feel uh, the same way. Hit me. Hit me. All right. So 100% because it, it was a total family vote. Uh, mm -hmm. Me and the kids. Mm -hmm. Love the weasel. Um, I didn't even bother to see if he was even a real character in the DC universe. All I know... Is that he's not very dangerous, but he did kill 27 children. <laughs> 27. 27. And uh, he can't swim. And he is just a gift. I love weasels. I love this weasel. And I just I want can't. A, I want a weasel plush. I'm saying this weasel was hilarious. And it was played by Sean Gunn. Hot Toys Weasel. Hit me. Plus sport, yes. Favorite character, just not even nice. not even so much the acting, just I just I mean I, I guess the writing. I, mm -hmm. I just I thought the portrayal of that character was just done very very well. Great uh, costume by the way. The costume was Great amazing. Costume. I want that helmet replica. I really do. He's. It's just it was it was great. Mm -hmm. Um, like I was saying earlier, like he just can. Can this man ever do a, a like? Does he know how to how to like not act? Does Does he know how to act badly? I think if the script ever called for Idris Elba to be like, we need you to act like you're acting terribly. I don't. Th I I think that's the only role he couldn't pull off. <laughs> I think he'd be so good though that I think he might just be able to. Like, or I like think a it's fuck. it's a paradox now. Uh, Bloodsport uh, was sent to the, was sent to that prison specifically because he put Superman in the ICU with the kryptonite bullet. Now, hear me out. I want to say that it's going to be uh, Michael B. Jordan's Superman from Earth 2. And that's the Superman they're talking about. I hope so. I hope so. Tiny, stop talking. How can I... I... Now I gotta think about writing two Ds here. <laughs> what was your favorite character? Oh man. Okay, so uh, Peacemaker. Peacemaker all the way, because he was hilarious. He was tough. He was there to do his job. He wasn't gonna take you know no BS from nobody. But he was also fun, a tad bit relatable, and just. Yeah, 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 you'd want this guy to be your friend, basically. Um, good, good, good stuff. And um, I hope uh, the HBO series James Gunn has coming. Uh, oh fuck, it's Peacemaker. Um, I'm all in, dude. And I hear they're already doing a season two. Like they didn't even do season one yet, or or they're already filming. Whatever, whatever, whatever the status is, give it to me. What you say? Give it to me. What you say? Uh, uh, HBO Max, it's, it's not a plug, but it could be. You know where we're at. Yeah, no, seriously. You, you know where we're at. Loomis throws his five for, like, coffee, so, like, <laughs> what's up, HBO Max? All right. But in all seriousness, that's just my first favorite character. Second, Chewy? Ooh. Second? And I'm talking, like, close second? Like, he, he was almost first? Polka Dot Man. Yes. Polka Dot Man was the absolute stuff. Yeah, he got he, so many third place votes. Dude. <laughs> so many. He's it, great. You know who my third place was? Uh, uh, Rat Catcher number two. Or Rat Catcher two, I'm sorry. 
yeah. Ratatouille. She was dope as heck. Um, but yeah, Polka Dot Man, dude. He had he had a, he had a great power. His backstory was 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 heart wrenching. It was de- it was devastating to hear his mom would do something like that to him, dude. Yeah. And all of his siblings, bro. And you know what? I'm, I'm over here thinking like, how many siblings did he have? Because he said some lived, some died. It's like, bro, that means you had at least two that lived and at least one that died, and there are at least what four of you guys. That's at a lot of kids le- to me, at dude. At least most mamas I know stop at three or, or two. Some some not even. They're just you just call them mamas because, you know, guys don't know no better. Um, but, yeah, dude. Uh, Polka Dot Man, dude. I'm getting that action figure, McFarlane. Don't play me. Make a deluxe version with Unmasked. I want him in his disco outfit, dude, when they're yes. undercover, bro. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we're, we're talking favorite scenes next, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Also, King Shark. Oh, ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not uh, yeah, a uh, special shout out to uh, to uh, Milton. Milton, um, oh man, a true all, gift. Now we all know Milton's not gonna get an action figure. He should be but, a build a figure. But, but dang it, I want one. Connect and collect, like hook it up. If it dude. means anything, mm-hmm. toy companies mm-hmm. throughout, even some independent ones, man. If you can get me one, I'm buying. How much you want to bet Funko Pop at least makes a I, Milton? I need a Milton. A Hot Topic exclusive I mean, Milton. I see you, Funko. I Milton took fourth. I mean, look, I got these guys ranked. Mm-hmm. And don't worry, I mean, fourth sounds like like it's far and away, but when you got like a thousand characters in the movie, fourth, fourteen, is, fourth is damn good. There's fourteen villains in this film. See to choose from. Well, Rick Flag's not a villain. He's just the leader. So I guess thirteen. Yeah. Villains. So it's quite. Close. Shout out Milton. Milton. And, uh, Milton was good because he wasn't just like, how do, I, how do I say this? James Gunn knew to place him in your eyesight. Like, yeah. he was always, the, so, so, you, you, so you wouldn't even forget about Milton. So it was, mm-hmm. it was, it was more impactful when everyone else forgot about Milton, Milton in that one. You know what's good? It's crazy because I think this scene. is going to become a Milton episode. Milton Uh-oh. was written so well that Milton is actually... The most relatable character in this entire movie. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Because. Because. And if you haven't watched it and don't know what I'm talking about, that means go watch it because you're going to love Milton. Mm-hmm. Milton. Watch Milton your, is me. Watch it twice. That's right. If I, if, if I was there, mm-hmm. I would be dumb enough to follow them. I would be dumb enough to. Believe. Okay. I would have enough dumb luck to stay out of the way long enough to, to like not die. Mm-hmm. And then make it somewhere like three quarters of the way, and then just get take one right here in the chest. Succumb to the bullets, and and the worst part is that Harley Quinn forgot about me. That would be <laughs> that. That's the real travesty. Who's Milton? Who's Who's Milton? Yeah, uh, Milton's not my name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, like that's no that's bullet. definitely the worst part. Like just so. Uh, Milton. Milton is everyone. He's like Spartacus. I am Milton. No, oh, I am Milton. Grab your, uh, grab your Pepsi's. Just, I'm telling you, drink a choice. Drink a choice. Drink a choice. Anyway, enough ranting about Milton. Milton yeah. was great. Milton was great. I need an action figure. Run it, please. Run it. Um, I think we should get into some uh favorite scene. Tiny. Ooh. You want me to go? Oh, I think I want you to go. What you got for me? All right. My favorite scene out of the entire film, as as uh, as a spectacular film as it is, uh, full of action scenes, uh, funny quotes, everything. Honestly, I had the most impactful feeling and moment when there were just that whole dance sequence in the club. That like them just having just... fun, having a good time, letting loose, not having to worry about dying. Or, or, or their their orders at the time, they were just let loose. And I enjoyed that because I could relate. And it was James Gunn just being James Gunn. He's solidifying himself as um, one of the greats right now. Like, there's sprinkles of Spielberg in that man. Oh, yeah. And it's very, very noticeable. Oh, yeah. In fact... In fact, I'm going to I'm going to give you such a a very complicated setup on how much I like that particular scene because it was so good. Mm-hmm. So good. Mm-hmm. Um 
that that scene almost seemed like if the cast was, hey, why don't you just go on break, have some fun, but stay in character. Keep the cameras rolling. Yeah. <laughs> Keep the cameras rolling. Especially John Cena's uh, stiff, and, stiff ass dancing, dude. Like and they just gave him gold. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's. That's just what it appears. John Cena delivers nothing but gold right now. Like I haven't seen anything in John. I haven't seen John Cena in anything that I didn't appreciate or like. So, right now he's at Idris Elba level with me. You can challenge me if you want, but you can't see him anyways. Favorite scene, Chewie? Well. Man, I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of this. There's the 1A and 1B. Mm -hmm. Because I will tell you my favorite scene, but I, I I just, it would be unfair if I didn't mention that the opening scene for this movie is, was, I think was one of the, what was among the best in cinematic history where you get, you know, a slightly longer than usual opening scene that goes on for a while and it just, it just keeps you out of your feet. You know what? It's at the levels of, um, uh, was it The Hunt? Oh, dude. That's oh. a great movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. Which, by the way, review coming. That's, that's, that's also on list. HBO Max. Also on HBO Max. Not a plug. Uh, but it could be. But it could be. The opening scene was, it was very in your face. Mm hmm. It was it was happening and it was going and basically if you were if you were in the if you were getting popcorn and your drink of choice you may have missed it uh, walking into the theater or your living room and your roommate didn't want to rewind because they're jerks <laughs> uh, but again um, there was just there was a lot of violence and again it was very tasteful just mm -hmm. like in the hunt I just mm -hmm. That one for me is uh, the best. Really good movie. Um, it was really good. Uh, the opening scene was was top notch. It's it, yeah, it's it's definitely the movie. The opening scene definitely gets you ready for what you're about to endure for about endure two hours. for yeah. for two oh, hours. No, yeah, it's two hours plus. This is oh, like two yeah. hours fifteen minutes for sure. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Without the opening scene, that would be like about an hour forty five. So, mm -hmm. uh, but. Great opening scene, but the scene that I like, and this is what earlier I mentioned about the, the movie, Everything is Frivolous, and while the drama wasn't there very long, it was it was laid heavy, and it got you right in the chest. For sure. For dude. sure. Um, Harley Quinn mm -hmm. was in this movie. She did a great job. Margot Robbie, as always, always does a great job. So in this dramatic scene, uh, again, this guy is going on and on and on and on. And it's like literally that scene from SpongeBob where it's like five minutes later. Yeah. He turns around and the next thing we know, he had just taken a bullet to the chest. And wouldn't you know it? Yes. Yes. I'm spoiling it for you. But check this out. This dude took one right to the chest. And then we go from one monologue to another <laughs> where Harley Quinn just... If you want to talk about when you thought you were hearing like a great monologue, this and this goes up like next level stuff mm -hmm. where you're just like, hey, hey, red flags, I feel you on that one. And then, you know, she does a thing that everyone wishes that they could do when they see the red flags. Mm, what's up? Oh, shoot them in the chest. <laughs> but check this. You saw it in the movie. Harley did it for you. Yeah. Now you don't have to. Every time you have a bad date, just watch this scene and you're like, yeah. Probably, probably shouldn't have done that. but Well yeah. deserved. He deserved that one. Yeah. I mean, hey, hey, he, hey. He messed with the children. He messed with the children. And he wasn't the weasel. That's so. right. Not allowed. Tell me this. Chewy, yo, yo. Is yeah. there anything about this movie you didn't like? Because I bet the list was small. You got anything for me? Because I got I, uh, Spoilers. 
I fucking hated, despised he killed off Polka Dot Man. I didn't give an F about anyone else's death. I wasn't even, like, n not even remotely did I bat an eye for anyone's death. But Polka Dot Man, like, dog, come on. Like, you know how to be like, hey, hey, fans. Huh? <laughs> Boonk. As in that, I was not going to give a finger, but that's what, that's what I meant to do. He's been big F you to the fans. Uh, probably not a big F you to the fans, but I'll tell you what. A lot of a lot of writers and directors think they know how they think they know how to subvert expectations, but really they're just fucking up the script. James Gunn knows how to subvert expectations. I did not expect him to die, and immediately after he, what I assume is a redemption for him, he finally finds himself, you know, and you just kill the guy off, just like. <laughs> Wait, way to take the heart out of me. I mean, still enjoy the hell out of the movie, but like that, that, that right there, I was like, oh man, it really grinds my gears. You know? Yeah, you know what? That's man. Here at TNC, we like to make all kinds of movie references because you're gonna know them. <laughs> I yeah. haven't felt that way since they took Newt from me, dog. In Alien <laughs> Three, dog. <laughs> Alien oh, man. Three, dog. Like, yeah, when you took Newt. That would that hurt. You guys are heartless right in that oh. movie. Oh, I I know King I know King Shark was in the movie. Uh, I know uh, he was used sparingly, and um, I honestly, I, you know, actually, no, he was used. He was used, I guess, for his purpose and how he he couldn't be. Yeah. I just wish he was in it just a tad bit more. Maybe, I mean, maybe a little more banter between people, but I I do appreciate him yeah. being. Sp Use sparingly, because you, you also don't want to overdo it with a character like that. It was, it was definitely one one day at the at the recording booth, you know. Oh, for sure, dude. They're like uh, Stallone. We got you for about a half an hour. Just go ahead and read all go this. Read all this once, please. Please. And just remember this section. Act like a child. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. I just get this all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, man. God. Hey, Sly. Love you. Get your check, bro. Love you. Get your check. Dang right. Dang right. While there was a lot of D writing, mm -hmm. there, uh, there definitely, you know, was was a hair where, where I didn't want it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Jesus, dude. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. <laughs> uh, that is... Um, I didn't like uh, Amanda Waller uh, in this uh, in this movie. Yeah. In this movie, that that that. Um, I don't know that I like the the character because okay, so not that I'm torn, but I will say this because not that I'm you know I I have conviction, mm. but I will admit that the acting was superb. I mean, yeah. oh for sure. Right, right. What are you gonna do? I v mean, v uh, Viola Davis. That's, that's what she does. Yeah, Viola Davis. That's that's what she does. I mean, like again, she's like she's up there with like Interstellar. But can can she have a bad role? You no. feel me? Like she she acted she acted the crap out of this role. But the character, I was like, man, I I I don't like I don't like he. No me no like he. This, she was very cold hearted. She was yeah like. Like I know, like I like I only I know all these guys were villains and they're supposed to be expendable, but yeah, trash even. But come on, goodness, yeah, yeah, dude, dude come on, you know, come on. She was mean, cold-hearted, uh, but calculating in words. She's very pro 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 precise. So again, to reiterate, everything in this movie is frivolous. Lots of action, yeah, which it includes. All kinds of kills, violence. The comedy was there. They even managed to insert a little bit of drama. And it was all done excellently. I mean, I just... The writing on this very much inter, mm -hmm. interweaved everything. And for sure, it had to be two hours. Because, again, that's a lot of stuff that, you know, was thrown our way. It's a lot of character development. A lot of character development. Even if that development was short. But it was done well. I mean, I... I felt like I felt like I managed to see everybody, even if it was for a little while. Shine for sure. Yeah, definitely. 
popcorn drink of choice, man. That's how. That's how you should. That's how you should do this movie. Mm-hmm. Suicide sure. Squad, twenty twenty one. What are you giving it? I'm giving this movie an S plus. Sick. This movie definitely uh, is reserved to get amongst uh, the highest grades ever here at TNC uh, at the movie. Um, there is uh, nothing possible above an S plus. Uh, that's because this movie again it it hits it hits all the right buttons. It you know it it does everything. Mm-hmm. And while you know if you have a complaint. A lot of it may be understandable, but it still doesn't negate the fact that this movie is good. And I love this movie. Idris Elba, amazing. This movie was like a good birthday. Uh, I know some of us have bad birthdays. Some of us don't even get to celebrate birthdays. Some of you don't even show up at the club when you invite them, even though you tell them a week in advance. And, you know, I'm not mad at you, Cheddar, whatever, dog. Uh, But, you know, this movie, again, was like a good birthday. Uh, you got all the gifts you wanted. You got to hang out with all the people you wanted to be with. You laughed your balls off a few times. You know, you snorted milk through whatever. You maybe soda pop, whatever, you know, but you're just having a good time. And that's yeah. exactly yeah, what this great movie day. is. Work didn't call. You yeah, know, like- dude. Like, like no one, no one asked you to come in on a day you didn't work, you know, cause you know, you're not even supposed to be there today. So why even go? Uh, James Gunn did not tackle YTT this film. Which is a good thing. Which is overdue the comedy. He did. He did a right. He did the right amount of comedy. The right amount of violence. The right amount of 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 uh, of uh, uh, I don't even. I don't, I don't want to say. I don't even want to say sexy or sensualness. But there was just uh, um, um, an attractiveness to this film. It was just my eyes were. This movie begs to be seen. In IMAX theaters. I'm still going to grade this film right here right now for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and make the decision of this movie deserves an S+. Like Chu said, highest grade here. Uh, we're not the only people who do S tier. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, ga- video game uh, grading systems. Uh, we're the only ones that do it right. Ooh. Yeah, dog. S plus. This movie's good. You guys check it out, man. You guys don't have HBO plus. Go to the theater. You guys don't want to do the theater. Wait till this movie comes out on, on DVD, uh, Blu-ray, download, whatever way you guys can consume this product, consume it well. This movie deserves to be watched, guys. Um and you have it, a friend that has HBO Max. Go to their house. Dude, you got I know one of your grandmas invited, got invited. it. Invited. For Dude. sure. Don't forget to grab your popcorn. And drink of choice. We're TNC. At the movies. Also, if you guys didn't like or subscribe, if you guys already liked and uh, you did like it, go ahead. Thanks for keeping that like. Um, If you didn't, go ahead and don't like us. Leave another comment if you already haven't. uh, If you already have. Tell us what you didn't like. Yeah, dude. Tell us. Tell us if uh, we're not not entertaining. Don't. Don't actually tell us that. Uh, But like, I don't know. Lie to me. Lie to me. Yeah. Tell me I'm pretty. Whatever it is you you think I want to hear. Just kidding. Uh, We love you guys uh, a lot. Um, Thank you for keeping the channel alive. Uh, We've got 44 subscribers right now. When we hit 50 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. I didn't even tell Chewy. This is on the fly. I I want to do a giveaway. So uh, at 60, I'm sorry, at 50, 50, 50, um, you you know, tell all your friends. Tell, Tell all your internet girlfriends. Tell all your lovers. Uh, but just, just get the word out. Yeah, I'm done. We're done here, right, Chewie? Oh, yeah. We're done here. S plus, Suicide Squad, The Suicide Squad. James Gunn's done it again. Run it. Please.